Today I fucked up by naming my penis after my roommate during foreplay. I share an apartment with a guy called Richard, we're not close or anything, but he's cool. I had a girl over this past weekend, it's only her third time over. During foreplay, I try to be funny and give my penis a name, and say underscore really wants to come out, do you think he'd be able to? I didn't know what name to settle on, so I decided that because dick is a common abbreviation for Richard, I'd just call my penis Richard, completely disregarding the fact that my roommate has the same name. A while later, I'm having dinner with this girl in my kitchen when Richard walks in. Introduce him by saying this is my roommate Richard. She immediately loses it and starts cackling like a fucking maniac. She leans into me and asks me why I would name my dick the same name as my roommate. I don't think my roommate caught on, but he definitely definitely found the situation weird. So a girl that I've barely started dating now thinks I purposefully name my penis after my roommate. Too long didn't read, I tried to be sexy slash funny during foreplay and give my penis a name, and the name I chose inadvertently was the same name as my roommate. Call it Kevin lol. Oh no. At least he didn't catch on. Is your roommate at least tall and good looking? His roommate is a total dick. Timmy and the twins. Call your penis Larry, everybody loves a good Larry. Today I fucked up by moving to Alabama. Obligatory notice, this happened about 5 years ago. My fiance insists this story is horrific enough to belong on reddit, couldn't figure a better sub so here we go. I moved to Alabama for grad school about 5 years ago from Phoenix Arizona. Now. I'd had my share of run-ins with wild animals and bugs in as, but let no one ever tell you the desert has anything on the south. When I moved to Alabama I had my sweet old dog who was 17 at the time. She was in the last year of her life and definitely slowing down a bit. She occasionally had some gastrointestinal distress that resulted in accidents while I was at school. No problem, she's my baby. Just clean it up and move on. Except for that one day in the first goddamn week I was in Alabama. I came home from work like any normal day just to open the door to one of the most horrific smells I'd ever experienced. My dog had had liquid diarrhea all over the kitchen and dining room. No problem, I'll just grab some paper towels and get to work while holding my breath. And that's when I saw something moving in that brown smoothie. Fuck, she has worms was my first thought. But it was way too big. So I go in to look closer. And it's a freaking snake. Now, liquid shit I can handle. A snake alone I can handle. But a snake covered in liquid shit. So I did what anyone would do and called my dad. He had no ideas and wished me godspeed. I decided the easiest way out of this situation was to get the snake out first, so I poked a broom at it. With luck, the snake decided climbing onto the broom, it seemed like a grand idea. But me being an idiot didn't think that the snake would continue coming up the broom handle at me. Sprinted my ass outside and dropped the now poo smeared broom on the ground. The snake slithered off and I left the broom to deal with the next morning. The final kicker for that night was that after all that I went to go take a shower and there was a slug in the bathtub. At that point I decided the day was cursed and just went to bed. TLDR, moved to Alabama with old dog didn't understand what I was getting into with the native wildlife. Still regret moving to Alabama. Edit, just to clear up the question, my dog did not shit out a live snake, the snake came in under the door, presumably, and went to the poo for warmth, presumably. Don't think it makes it much better, but there's that. Edit also typos. As someone from Alabama, I'm actually glad to see this story was about critters. Not what I was expecting. I thought this was gonna be another ended up accidentally fucking my cousin posts. Accidentally? In Alabama? There's a point where you just drop a match and walk. Honestly, I'm horrified by the experience of what it must have been like for your dog to shit out a snake. A never ending poo. I currently live in Alabama. I actually just moved here a few months ago. My house is and has been a fixer-upper to say the least. My father-in-law was poking around the basement ceiling seeing what insulation was good and what might need replaced. As he was doing that, a snake fell from the insulation and into him. He became a lot less intimidating after the noises he made. I've been having a rough couple of weeks, but this made me laugh. Thanks. Today I fucked up by seeing what my dad wanted for dinner.
This happened just a few minutes ago. I woke up late and skipped breakfast thinking I'd be alright with just ordering in food, so I go downstairs and look for my dad to see if he'd like some Chinese too. He's not around so I think he must be outside. I recently discovered he likes to stand inside the shed to have a smoke so I thought he must be in there. My dog followed me out and ran around the garden chasing birds. As I approached the shed door I put my hand on the edge to pull it open and what do I see? My dad with his junk out, headphones in, and his tablet in front of him. He asked me what I was doing and I just told him I wanted to know what he wanted for dinner. I had my back turned to him trying to avoid any awkwardness. At least I know what he wants for dinner now. Too long didn't read, went to see what my dad wanted for dinner but he already had a sausage. Sounds like a mouthful. Sanding some wood in the shed? Sounds about right. That too long didn't read, toe, smiley face. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Well now he's got to find a new spot to wank. Why? Kid ain't gonna open that door without knocking again.